Our, our second story for today is that they finally have updated the app on iOS and Android for Google Stadia, and it has some new stuff in it that I think that some people might think are small, but I think that overall it's kind of cool, and I like these changes that they made. Uh, so this is, again, from 9to5Google, who is a website I go to way more than I used to now that I uh, cover Stadia <laughs> stuff. But uh, it says, an update to Stadia for Android and iOS rolled out today with a small number of tweaks. The most notable is a pro badging for free subscription games. Now, there's there's people who are going to say, well, that was always there. What they mean is that if you look at your games... So like right now I'm looking at my phone and if I look at my games and it's a game that, uh, no, everybody's holding up their phone now. Uh, it's a game that, um, that you claimed through pro, then it's going to have a little badge down on the bottom for pro. And if it's a game that you have not bought, uh, claimed through pro, then it won't have the badge. So if you're watching the video, you can see that, uh, borderlands three does not have the badge on my, on my app, but tomb Raider does. Now, I think that this is a very, very important change. I'm not excited about this change, but I think it's a very important change. And the reason I think it's a very important change, and I just put the button on the wrong screen, uh, the reason I think <laughs> that that's a very important change is because when you are looking at the list of games that you have on Stadia and you look at them and you say, all right, um, I'm going to look for something to play, and you scroll through and you see, man, I got a lot of pro games. Am I going right. to unsubscribe? And I think that that is a very, very compelling reason that somebody will keep subscribing because it's, I paid, I continue to pay $10 per month. I mean, maybe you've already played all these games and you don't want to continue. That's fine too. Right. I'm not judging. But if uh, you look through and you're like, a lot of your games are your pro subscription games, which let's face it, for a lot of people, that's going to be the case right now because there's so few games on Stadia, which I feel like maybe we should talk about that in this segment a little bit, Lloyd. Um, sure. But if you keep seeing that pro badge, you're likely to stay subscribed. And I think that that's a very, very important thing uh, for Google to surface because people might forget, oh yeah, I didn't actually pay for that game. I don't actually own <laughs> that. And now that I'm not subscribed, it's gone. Uh, although- right. If you unsubscribe and then resubscribe, you get all that stuff back again. What are your thoughts on this first part of the story, Lloyd? I, I think it's um, it's good for all the reasons that you said, um, having having that reminder that, hey, pro's a thing. You have games that are from pro. You should um, think about that before you unsubscribe. Um, but it's also good from a um, keeping every interface the same standpoint. Um, like the phone interface is different from the Chromecast interface, which is different from the PC uh, web browser interface. Um, I, I long for a future where all the Stadia interfaces are the same, uh, laid out the same, work the same, and hopefully that is something that will come. Um, but yeah, having that pro badge there is uh, is going to be good because you know that if you unsubscribe at the end of the month, you're going to lose access to the three games you're playing. Um, my hope also is that once you are not a pro anymore, uh, those pro games disappear from your games list so that they don't keep clogging things up um, if you're if you're not a pro. Uh, maybe have them at the end of the list or something. That would be uh, that would be a good way to do it. Or in a folder. Like uh, it would be yeah. nice if you could say games that you've claimed but you can't play right now because you um, aren't subscribing. And then have a button right there that says uh, resubscribe so that people can e very easily say, oh man, I was going to play uh, Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, but I, I I let my subscription lapse. I'll go ahead and subscribe and then I can play it, uh, as well as all these other games. I think that that would be uh, a really good idea. Uh, also uh, changed in here uh, is some, not a super important change, but I think it, it clarifies something that we all knew was true, but we weren't 100% positive about it. And that is uh, showing us that the balanced is 1080p. So if you go into your phone app, again, I'm going to go into the phone app so that I can see it. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Uh, if you go into the phone app and then you click on your avatar and then you scroll down to data usage and performance uh, right there. Um, so on the top, it says best visual quality up to 4K resolution data usage might reach whatever, blah, 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 blah. And then it says balanced up to 1080p resolution 
it didn't say that 1080p before. Uh, and right. I think that that's a very important thing, especially when you're when you're talking about certain games, because there was a game that I was playing, Borderlands, and I was playing that game a bunch. And every time I went to play that game, I would go into uh, my avatar and I would switch that game over or I would switch my stream over to balanced in order to force Borderlands 3 to be 1080p instead of 4K because that would give me 60 frames per second. Again, this right. is something I shouldn't have to do. Uh, it should allow me to do that in game. But right. the idea, like, I wasn't ever sure if it was really mm -hmm. working. Like, I would be playing and I was like, I, this feels pretty good. I think it's probably 60 frames per second. And then I'd check and I'm like, yep, okay, I'm on the balanced mode. And then there would be times where I was playing Borderlands and I'd be like, oh, it feels really sluggish. Why does it feel so sluggish? And I would look and I'd be like, <laughs> oh, I'm on the 4K mode. The 4K okay. mode is 30 frames per second. It doesn't feel as good. Let me reboot everything. Um, so I, I think it's important that they have those numbers there so people understand what exactly balanced means because I think before it just said, let Stadia determine the best whatever for you. And right. that's a little too nebulous and not particularly clear. And I don't like things to be nebulous and unclear. So I sure. think that it's good that they made that change. Agree, hundred uh, percent. It's also going to hopefully uh, get rid of. Uh, I, I tried to find it. Um, I couldn't find the link, but there was uh, there was a review where um, on some third party website, not a major website, where someone's like Stadia is terrible. Um, it, it's they say everything's for for up to four K. I've never gotten better than ten eighty p. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> I'm just complaining about Stadia. And then one of the comments is, "Well, in your data usage and performance, do you have it set to just balance? Because it's only ever going to be ten eighty p at balance." And then the author's like, oh, yeah, okay. I'm on best visual quality now, and now I'm getting 4K. It's like little things like that um, that users aren't being told that they have to find themselves. So this is a, a step in the right direction to hopefully clear some of that stuff up. But it would be nice if you got a pop-up when you start a game saying, playing in balance mode, a oh, max 1080p. Yes. Like just a little a little bubble that would pop up and have a way to turn it off if you don't want that anymore. But just just something that would allow people to, um, to get a little bit more data uh, about the game they're playing. That would be fantastic. I agree. All right, so this is the part of the same segment. I, I, I mentioned before that uh, there's not a lot of games on Stadia, and I'm kind of feeling that right now. Um, I, I have games to play. I have Tomb Raider. I have Tomb Raider 2. I have Thumper. I have games to play. I don't feel like playing any of those games. And honestly, I can't play. I forgot to talk about this a bit at the beginning. Um, you know what game I've been playing the most this week is Elder Scrolls Online uh, because <laughs> they, I know it's coming to Stadia. And I believe <laughs> that the PC version is the one where like, I'm going to be able to play my character. And so I've been playing it here and there. Not a lot, just a little. Uh, but I've got that MMO itch like big time. And right. right now, there is no... And don't tell me Destiny's an MMO. I know. It's not what I'm looking <laughs> for, though. Um, I've got that MMO itch. And I know that there's other people out there who have an itch for a specific game that is not on Stadia right now. And right. for those people, I feel really bad because it's January 26th and we haven't gotten a new game all month. That right. is just crazy to me. I mean, Google, I think Stadia is fantastic, but what are you doing? Lloyd, what do you think the holdup is? Uh, but publishers, this isn't on Google. Uh, developers developers need to make the game and publishers have to release it. And maybe they have data that shows releasing a game in January is um, is career suicide for their their publisher um, people. Um, so yeah, hopefully we get something soon. Um, there's... Uh, uh, what is it journey to the savage planet comes out really soon and i know google bought that development company uh, and i'm holding out hope it's never been confirmed that maybe we'll get like a stadia version at the end of the month or something um maybe there's something else coming uh i i hope there's something else coming but yeah it's been uh it's been a bit of a of a log jam for this month it, it has and and i know that it's not google that decides when the games come out it's the publishers that that, that decide yeah when the games come out, I'm more playing devil's advocate at this point. So I just want to make sure that everybody, what? 
Oh, sorry, I chatted over you. Uh, Terza Reactor in the chat room makes a great point. Doom was supposed to, uh, uh, or Doom's delay messed up Google through the holiday. It was meant to carry us through January. And that's that's true. If if Doom Eternal wasn't canceled, or canceled, wasn't delayed, um, we would have had a game to play. So maybe that was what the uh, what the uh, the plan was, was that would be the big January game to keep everybody um, hopping and jumping around on Google, or on Stadia, rather. <laughs> 